York and Aurora a bit in the upper 60s. But looking at Stormcast for the rest of the evening, a lot of these storms are going to move off out of the area off to our east, and then that's going to be the only chance for any showers going into the next several days. So we'll clear out. We'll see some clouds filter in by tomorrow morning about 7.30 a.m. See some of those clouds move in and then move out by the early morning hours, and then a lot of sunshine expected for tomorrow afternoon. But tonight, Overnight lows expected about 65 degrees with increasing clouds as the rain moves on. Winds will stay out of the east at about 3 to 6 miles per hour. I expect the lower 60s and mid 60s for most of the areas tonight with east, east winds keeping those lows right around the mid 60s. A high tomorrow will be about 93 degrees. We'll be warming up. Stay mostly sunny throughout the day on Sunday with winds out of the east northeast at about 5 to 8 miles per hour. But looking at the 10 day, we can see that we are going to stay really dry for the next several days. We're going to warm up quite a bit and then a storm chance more rain is in the forecast heading into the end of next week. We have a lot more storm chances and with that good chance for rain with fall ro rolling right around the corner and then a dry rest of the forecast for the next last part of the 10 day forecast. Jessica, I keep saying it's almost like summer's giving us one more punch saying don't forget about me before fall hits. <laughs> it is. I, I mean, I'm even thinking about it. Maybe one more chance to jump into the pool if it's still open for you. It might be a good idea to do that the next several days. Might as well. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. Huskers interim head coach Mickey Joseph made his debut tonight 